Hi everybody, this is Gufran from Instra Chemicals. Welcome to our channel again. Today we're gonna formulate a beautiful product, which is facial cleansing, moisturizing facial cleansing, and it was foaming facial cleansing. When we need to prepare product like facial cleansing, baby skincare routine, a product for sensitive skin, you need to be very careful about your product, your chemicals that you need to use, so you need to choose the right chemical to use okay for today we are gonna use that the mildest one of surfactants and the good moisturizing agents for our formula okay for today we're gonna use a wide range of chemicals from yester chemicals starting from surfactants the biodegradable surfactants which is eco-friendly mild on the skin have a good cleansing efficiency so if you want to know the chemicals that we use today and the steps of addition, just complete the video. At Yesra Chemicals, we produce high quality coconut based green surfactants like CAPD, CAO, CDEA, CMEA and so on. Through strategic partnerships with other leading manufacturers, we supply a comprehensive range of chemicals for home care and personal care products. We offer a one-stop solution, ensuring you have everything you need from one source to produce top tier home and personal care products. We're gonna start by introducing our chemical that we will need to use today in our formulation. As we say it first, we, today we're gonna formulate moisturizer foam facial cleanser okay of course we're gonna start with the base which is the ionized water then after it our treating agent which is EDTA disodium and next our first surfactant from Estro Chemical is SCA 30% and for our secondary surfactant CAB 35% Our last surfactant today is Lorai Glucoside and for moisturizer agent today we have Alantoin from Yestro Chemicals and Glycerin. And our third moisturizer agent for today is P5 or Panthenol. And for preservative today we have Phenoxethanol, BE. And let's start. Of course, we're gonna start by measuring our base, which is water. We need 70.40% for this formula, which is equivalent to 140.8 grams. And then we're gonna add our chelating agent, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, 0.1%, which is 0.2 gram. And of course, we use chelating agents such as ADTA or STBB to chelate and to form complex with minerals that can cause hard water or can interact with our surfactant. So to avoid all of that, we use chelating agents. And we're gonna mix that well until the editor fully dissolved. Okay, for this formula, the most important part is dissolving our moisturizer okay after our chelating agent is fully dissolved we're gonna preheat this mixture until its temperature reach 60 degrees okay after we heat it up this mixture we're gonna add our moisturizer why because allantoin soluble better in hot water so now we're gonna put our mixture water and cleating agent in water pads to heat it up and we're gonna measure from our moisturizer ferris moisturizer 0.03 percent which is in our formula 0.6 gram and we're gonna add our moisturizer to the hot water and mix it until it fully dissolves and of course, we're gonna mix it using overhead stirrer.
okay and now after our moisturizer agent fully dissolved and mix we're gonna go further to the next stage now we can proceed and start adding our surfactant okay and we're gonna start with our very surfactant SCA 30% and from this one we need 10% from the formula ratio so that equivalent to 20 grams and we're gonna mix it just using a spatula and while we mix our first surfactant SCA we can talk about it it's an amphetric surfactant commonly used in personal care products the, its features starting with their mildness it's known for its gentle properties that make it it's suitable for sensitive skin and baby care products and it's less irritating than many traditional surfactants the second features of SCA is its a uh, foam booster it enhances the foam properties for the formulation, providing a rich and stable leather. Okay, and compatibility. SCA is um, being as amphitric surfactant, it's compatible with a wide range of other surfactants, anionic, cationic, and non-ionic. So it can help to supply its overall formulation. It provides conditioning effects. Okay, leaving your skin or hair feeling soft and smooth and the most important thing is SCA is biodegradable. So it's making an environmentally friendly choice for formulator of course. After our first surfactant as you can see fully dissolved and mixed. Then we're gonna go further in another addition, which is our CAB35, docomide profile P10. Okay, from CAB in this formula, we need 8%, which is equivalent to 16 grams. CAB also mild surfactant and foam booster. Also, we're gonna mix it using a spatula. After our CAB35 is fully dissolved and mixed, we're gonna go further. Our last refactant today is Lorai Glycoside, and today we're gonna use from this one 4%, so that equivalent to 8 grams. Okay, and also we're gonna mix it using a spatula. And also we're gonna talk a little bit about Rolai glycosides, its rules and features. It's a non-ionic surfactant derived from natural sources such as coconut oil and glucose. It's commonly used in personal care products due to its gentle and effective cleansing properties. Okay? For today's surfactant, the mildness feature is the most important thing. It's an extremely mild, making it suitable for sensitive skin and baby care products. And it's also uh, eco-friendly, being derived from renewable resources and biodegradable like coconut and glucose, so it's eco-friendly. Okay. Foam stabilization. Lorai glycoside, it provides a good foaming power and it stabilizes foam. The foam it does produce is stable and creamy. So it's perfect choice for a facial cleansing and also it's compatible with a wide range of surfactant including anionic and cationic and amphetric surfactant so this one is good compatible with our surfactant for today and the main rule that i'm using chloride glycoside today in our formula because that one does not clog pores so that makes this one the perfect choice for facial cleansing and skincare products. So as you can see, our third and final surfactant also fully dissolved and mixed well with mixture. And we're gonna go further. After we finish adding our surfactant, we're gonna go to the next step, which is our 
moisturizers. At first, we use already dilantoin with hot water, and now we're gonna add glycerin and panthenol as moisturizers. For glycerin, in this formula, we're gonna use 5%, which is equivalent to 10 grams. And today, from panthenol, we're gonna use 1%, which is 2 grams. And now we're gonna mix our moisturizer until they fully dissolve and mix. While we mix our last moisturizers, we're gonna talk a little bit about our basic moisturizer agents, which is alantoin. Alantoin is multifunctional ingredients, it's widely used in personal care and cosmetic products. Okay, but primarily serve as a skin protectant and a smoothing agent and moisturizer. Okay, let's talk about its features. First one is skin smoothing. Lantoin has anti-irritation properties, making it effective in calming and smoothing irritated skin. So that makes it suitable for sensitive skin formulation such as baby product and product for conditions like eczema okay the second feature is moisturizing so it's help to hydrate the skin by promoting water retention in the outer layers of the skin make keep it soft and smooth the third property is healing properties Promoting skin repair and regeneration by stimulating cells proliferation and supporting the natural healing process. So it's often used in products that designed and treated minor skin injuries such as cutting or burns. So for me, the perfect reason that I'm using uh, Alantoin today because it's anti-aging, promoting cell turnover and improving skin texture. Alantoin can contribute to anti-aging formulation, so that helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Okay, okay. Alantoin also can be used in so many products such as moisturizers, sunscreen, after sun product, and shampoo and conditioning, also in lip balms. And of course, in our case, we're using it in the facial cleansing. And after I prepare 10% aqua solution from the paste mixture, the pH reading of our product is 5.06, which is within range. Our product pH range is from 5 to 6. So, as you can see, now our mixture is clear. All our components are dissolved and mixed and be homogeneous. Okay, now we're gonna go further. Our last product for today is the preservative phenoxy ethanol, the PEE. Today we're gonna use from it 0.2%, which is 0.4 grams. Now we're gonna transfer it to our container for the foaming product. And now we're gonna test it. And now our product is ready. But this is not just a foaming cleansing, facial cleansing. This one have a lot of properties and features, such as its moisturizing facial cleansing, have a skin smoothing features, moisturizing healing properties, not irritating, and also anti-aging benefits. So this product is perfect for sensitive skin and irritated skin. And the main thing, it's easy to prepare it. You just need to have a good product and for the procedures and that is. So let's check the result together. Can you see the foam, how wide is it, it's stable? It is smooth and leathery.
So I'm gonna clean it right now and come back to you. As you can see, my hands so smooth on your skin. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Stay tuned for more insights into our formulation choices and their benefits only here at Yeser Chemicals.